Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pump Masses video. And uh, yeah, uh, as we started with the support slash utility tier list, we're going to do uh, the rest of them as well, right? This one being the hybrid one. So some damage heals that also have some utility. Again, like the classifications of these are tough, right? So it's just like a general. I mean, a lot of these you could throw them in other categories as well, right? Uh, but I decided just not to deal with that. And and uh, one thing that we used to do is like if a unit's like top tier and um, different categories, we'll just put them all in the list, but, uh, I thought it, it just causes too much confusion, so I probably won't, uh, do that anymore, just, you know, uh, folks should generally get, you know, a decent idea of, of, of how powerful some of these, uh, units are, right, across categories, um, so, yeah, that, um, can't wait for, uh, people to ask in the damage dealer video where, uh, well, we're Steven. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, right? Again. So anyways, uh, shout outs to Ryan Dodson who helped me with uh, ranking these, right? So again, obviously, these are very, very subjective. Just our opinions, right? I mean, I don't even 100% agree with this list. So let's uh, get into this then. So uh, this month, we actually had like a lot of new hybrids, mostly because like every single unit, we've got, what, six units this month? And five out of the six are tax and usually you know a lot of hybrids are tax right because a lot of techs you know they have some utility purposes and then they generally do have a sync nuke not all of them right um some don't have too much of a utility purpose some don't have that much of a nuke right for example grimsley <laughs> uh doesn't nuke that much right um so he's just more pure utility and something like alistair right uh, has the utility, but it's mainly going to be used for damage, right? So that's why Alistair is going to be in the in the damage list, right? So again, these the, the classifications are a bit, you know, iffy. But let's uh, let's get into this. So um, as usual, we'll just probably just start with one in each um, category, right? Category tier, whatever. So starting from the top, we could put in. Something like Annie, Ann, and Reshiram, right? Again, these aren't ordered from left to right, by the way. Uh, Annie, Ann, and Reshiram is very, very good, right? The AoE, um, no, you know, decrease in damage on the AoE. Plus, he's fire type. All fire types are, you know, <laughs> at least decent, right? Uh, fire types are just really good in this game. They get boosted by Sun, which is very, very powerful. It has a pretty powerful sync nuke. Has move gauge acceleration for your team as well, which is fantastic. So, yeah. Moving on to something into you know close top, we could throw in, um, for example, uh, silver. Right, very very powerful DPS, uh, pretty solid sync nuke as well. Sets up infinite sun. Right, very very good. And speaking of very good, <laughs> next here, um, we could put something like, um, maybe Mew. That's not Mew, but <laughs> this one's Mew. Uh, Mew could tank, could debuff the opponent, as a decent sync nuke, could do some solid DPS as well, right? A lot of different coverage, so that's Mew. Uh, moving on to the good tier, maybe something like a Crobat over here, right? Could debuff the opponent's special defense, really nice, can badly poison the opponent, has a really powerful sync nuke. Uh, Venetron could do some damage, I guess, uh, you know, <laughs> at least for a 2 gauge move. <laughs> so, yeah, moving on. To the I guess niche ish um, tier, something like a um, you know something like Altaria, right? Uh, her use isn't like super, you know. You can't really use her anyway. I guess you could like you could always like slaughter into a team and then it, in mass mode and then, like pick up the crit shield and all that stuff and get some free points. But generally, you don't want to waste like a team slot like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, evasion down, you rarely get to use that, uh, although you do get to use it with, you know, I, I don't know why I keep on trying to call Durak Faulkner, <laughs> uh, but Durak, right, so there's that, he could do some damage, the dragon fairy type coverages, uh, decent nuke, I guess, and yeah. Uh, moving on to the, I guess, solid tier, we have Pikachu, has some potions, could do some a bit of damage, I guess, with Thunder Shock. <laughs> Either all the power reserves or the the prowess of synergy, all that. And then, and not very useful, we probably have um, maybe Wickstrom, right? 
is uh it doesn't really do anything <laughs> unfortunately so that's uh that's what we got over here all right moving on uh i guess we'll just go from left to right here we have summer marnie which is very very good fantastic and bow villa because you don't need to spend any mp to get uh max out her physical attack and and crit right and then on top of that she buffs all you know her, all her defenses she's a great tank for a triple striker team uh her dps is decent right and then she has a very powerful sync nuke as well so yeah good tank good damage healer all that stuff um may is obviously very broken um her dps is insanely high uh her nuke is very very powerful she's a pretty good tank right uh, with racing rain she could help your team's gauge relatively well and she sets rain with npr and rain so uh incredibly busted um moving on steven uh honestly i might even want to move steven down at this point his damage is very very mediocre unfortunately his sync nuke is okay right uh he does flinch which is nice right he could heal himself he'd be a decent physical tank i guess so there's that. Acerol's not very great, unfortunately. Her gimmicks aren't super worth running. Her uh, her damage mainly comes from her Shadow Sneak, which only has 3 MP and only has 1 MPR 2, which is very unfortunate, right? So that's not very good. Uh, she does have a bit of a Sync Nuke as well, right? The Confusion thing exists. Defense debuffs, but there's just better defense debuffers, I guess, generally. Uh, Kalem's okay. Uh, it does give your, you know, he's he's solid for your team's gauges, right? With the self speed buffs, also, you know, pep rally on that as well. Uh, he's pretty fast base speed, if I remember correctly, as well, right? Thunder wave can confuse. If you have him three out of five, he has a solid sync nuke, <laughs> right? He actually does. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Sydney, uh, Sydney's o he's okay, right? He has a really easy to set up sync nuke, right? So it's really easy just to like slot him into a team if you need a dark type sync nuke and you know nuke nuke someone, I guess. <laughs> so so there's that. Um, yeah, uh, but outside of that, his, his DPS is quite poor. Um, Agatha's it's fine. She's really fast for a sleeper right there's just better sleepers and sleep isn't like super like sleep is very broken at a status condition but it's not very um it's not very you know powerful at the moment right just because of how fast stages get cleared stalling isn't very you know not the best option at the moment um ice demon is pretty good uh you could set hail TPS is whatever. Sync Nuke's also kind of whatever. But you could set Hail, which is nice. Uh, Hop is great, right? Buff your team, all that stuff. Has a 4 gauge Behemoth, be be behemoth Bash, <laughs> which is pretty solid. Right? Especially when you get, uh, you know, a free, uh, free move to use, right? That's some solid damage. Um, Serena is pretty powerful. Max, you know, or potentially max team speed buffs. Uh, could Paralyze the opponent, right? Um, her sync nuke's pretty powerful, pretty easy to set up. Her moon blast does solid damage, and yeah, she's uh very good. Oh, AOE speed debuffs as well. Um, Kirim solid, right? Um, pretty decent sync nuke. The uh, noble roar with double drop is really really nice, right? Um, Glaciate does some pretty good damage. It's a bit slow though, right? Musharna is very, very powerful, fantastic um, tank, right? Uh, really, really, really good damage on stored power for just a two gauge move. Not just for a two gauge move, like it's just a good, very, very high damage cat move. Period. But it's all it's a plus that it's also a two gauge move. Um, yeah, very, very busted psychic terrain. Um. Holy Skyla is she's okay, I guess, right? Um, pretty powerful flying type sync nuke. Should be the, if I remember correctly, the strongest um flying type sync nuke. So there's that, I guess, right? So 
yeah, that's good. Um, and then she could also buff your team's random stats, can flinch, random statuses, all that stuff. Um, her DPS is pretty solid as well, right? Um, speaking of flying types, uh, well, that was pretty decent as well. His DPS is not the best, but, uh, you know, um, built properly. He could tank, he could heal himself, all that stuff. He could flinch the opponent. kind of like Steven, right? Uh, regular Metagross Steven. Uh, May Loppy is fantastic. Uh, AoE team speed buffs again, right? Got the potions, got um, all the other stuff going um, for her, right? The, uh, the, the, not the, potions, the, uh, the, the defense buffs. And yeah, very, very good DPS. Very, very good DPS. Uh, her first sync doesn't, is not very good, however, <laughs> damage wise. Um, Plumeria is okay. She's pretty fast. You could do the smog flinch thing. Which, again, I still don't like, but it's an option, I guess. Uh, her sync is decent, and her DPS off of her, um, her, her AoE is not that great. Uh, Clay is not the best. Um, Gladian's okay, right? Different types, all that stuff. Um, pretty nice, I guess, right? Damage pretty low, but changes into uh, you know, any type you want. Uh, Serena is still busted, right? Even outside of, even outside of the AOE sleep, which is very, very powerful. Her DPS is very good. Her Sanctu is pretty powerful. Stat Leech is pretty cool, right? All that stuff. Uh, Kaelin's kind of whatever, right? Her damage is not that great, even in Psychic Terrain. I mean, it's like, it's use, it's like, it's pretty decent in Psychic Terrain, but like, if you compare it to like any of the other Psychic type damage healers, it's not, you know, there at all, right? Um, not that even great of a tank, honestly, in my opinion, but it's a thing, I guess. Uh, Saints of is pretty good, right? Her Frenzy Plant's very, very good damage. Um, you know, pretty good Sync Nuke as well, right? Very, very good DPS and Sync Nuke. Uh, on top of Fang Potions, Gradual Heals, uh, defense, AOE defense debuffs, right? The Badly Poison thing is nice too. And then you have Onyx, which is pretty solid. Right, pretty good physical defense. Uh, defensive unit has a haymaker nuke, which is nice. Um, there's potions, one gauge spam, debuff, you know, speed defense, all that stuff. Uh, all these bolts okay, right? Um, he's a water type nuker among a lot of water type nukers. Uh, defenses are fine, although I wouldn't really use a tank, I guess. But I guess you could do that. Um, I like him better as a tank than like Kaelin though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They're uh, Maybe Kaelin's a bit better. I don't know. They're not that. They're both not fantastic tanks. You could burn debuff accuracy. Skald could do some damage right in rain. But again, a lot of water type units could do some really good damage in rain. So <laughs> yeah, um, Torkoal is okay, right? Solid sync nuke. Got a one gauge ember spam. Have the burn stuff. Solid physical tank. Right, uh, Champion Iris is pretty good. Uh, she has the uh, move gauge acceleration, which is nice. Could debuff the, uh, the attack stats, all that stuff. Uh, pretty powerful sync nuke as well. Right, uh, just pretty long setup, unfortunately. Let's see what else. Uh, Wallace. Wallace is a solid tank, I'd say generally. Um, and uh, he has the Poke Trap thing, right? Plenty Poke Trap. Um, the, 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 the Brian could do some good damage, damage, right? And mirror code is useful sometimes, maybe. <laughs> and the status, the status thing is not that good, honestly. <laughs> Cause it doesn't prevent like status effects from like additional effects from moves. If it actually prevented that, then, then it'll be much better, but it doesn't. So <laughs> maybe I could even like move him down one, honestly. Um, star means okay, right? Hydro Pump does solid damage, pretty good sync nuke as well, has special defense buffs, gradual heals, all that stuff, cure status conditions, really nice. Incineroar is pretty good, right, can max out your team's speed, uh, Darker Slayer could do some damage maybe, uh, sync nuke's pretty powerful, right, debuff uh, defense and attack, uh, Crash Awake is kind of whatever. Um, Xenia Salamance is pretty good, right? 
which is pretty good. Uh, pretty good tank nuker, pretty good damage overall, right? Do the flinch stuff, the debuffs, all that. All right, let's talk about the new units. So, um, let's talk in terms of like order when they came out. Uh, Sing Tzu Misty is kind of mediocre, right? She has a very, very powerful sync nuke. However, one, the setup is very bad, and two, she does like nothing outside of that, right? Because they like there's a lot of very, very powerful sync nukes up here, right? Like ninety percent of these guys have very good sync nukes. Um, however. All these guys up here also do some other stuff, you know, whether it's, um, you know, for example, damage like Venusaur, right, or you're setting rain like Mei, you're tanking like Musharna, setting Psych Train, you're sleeping with Serena, or you're like, I, I don't know, tanking with like Mew, debuffing with Mew, debuffing with Iris, like damage DPS, like most of the units up here also do something else. Her mist and haze, um, they exist, but they're not very powerful, right? They're not very powerful. And then her other, you know, move is like a water gun or something, which is not very good, unfortunately, right? Uh, moving on. On the other hand, Leafeon is fantastic, right? Leafeon's fantastic. Uh, set Sun with um, MPR, right? A perfect fit with both um, Septile and, and, you know, Decidueye, right? A lot of these, uh, whether grass, uh, grass type units, all of these fire type units, right? Um, fantastic, fantastic fit over there. A very, very powerful DPS, very, very powerful Sync Nuke, right? So, yeah, that's, that's Leafeon. Morty. Uh. He's okay, I guess. Has the AoE burn thing, which is a thing, <laughs> I guess. Um, he's just not very powerful overall, right? Damage wise, pretty mediocre. Uh, his sync nuke's not like terribly hard to set up, I guess. So it exists, but yeah, it's not not the best, right? Overall. Uh, Drak is pretty solid, I guess, right? Because you could, you could, um, you could buff your team speed, which is always great, which is always great, right? And just in general, his DPS is not terrible either. Uh, it's not like good or whatever, but it's not like absolutely atrocious, right? Uh, but yeah, solid nuke, buff your team speed, could debuff the opponent's attack, right? Defog is something, right? I, I I think he's just much better defogger than Lycia, just because this other stuff he does outside of defogging is a bit better, right? So yeah, right? Um, yeah, that's that's cool. Anyways, uh, that's maybe this one, I guess. Um, I think like the some biggest or, or bigger change than I initially thought, uh, thought right? Because um, coming in like my first impression. Remember when I did like a first impression of these? Uh, units videos. I think I like Morty higher than Duroc, but now, after um, after actually using using them, I do think Duroc's much much more. Um, I won't say much more, but generally a bit more useful, right? Although, uh, you know, none of them are like insanely you know top tier level or whatever, right? That's that one Sing Suit Erica, <laughs> which was an easy call, but uh, but yeah, um, interesting to see how uh. Oh, uh, things changed in comparison to, you know, my first impression and, and uh, after I've actually used them. So, anyways, that's my this one. I guess hope you all enjoyed it. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this videos from our channel for some more Poem Masses content. I'll probably have the uh, Damage Healer one out as well sometime later today. I'll do, although I do have, like, one t a test I have to do. So, probably do it after the test, maybe before. Who knows? Uh, probably after. I'm doing it before. It's probably not a good idea. But, yeah. Anyways, have fun, folks. I'll see you guys in the next one.